This week on Timberborn. Look at this. Look at this. It is done. It's humongous. It is massive. It's going to hold so much water. Oh, we might just come and see him use the exercise plaza. Yeah, look at that. Jumping and getting all excited and happy and all the rest of it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Timberborn, where we are building the gigantic tank of water. This is going to be the biggest thing you've ever seen. It is going to be finished in today's episode, and we are going to have a name for it as well. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing done. It's taken so long, and it's so huge. Uh, some of you did notice in the last episode, my brain just seemed to be all over the place. I'd literally just got an over over covid or it was at the beginning i can't remember exactly when i recorded it but that's what i'm going to blame and yeah i was putting in absolutely tons of well, we've got builders huts over here and then down here i put in a couple of haulers huts and the crowd went wild thinking i was completely losing my mind um so i've swapped one of these out for a builder's hut so we can get more builders going um and i think actually we're going to swap this one out we're going to pick a pick of that we're going to turn that one around and put another builder's hut in. And I think I'm even going to pop another one. Mm, can I squeeze it in there as well? So we're going to get as many builders as we can up to here. Uh, there was also quite a few comments about how, I mean, look at that. They are flying through. Let's just speed things up a little bit over here. They can basically run along here and just drop in one slot. What I'm going to do is see if we can add some access so they can also drop over here as well we of course have the overhangs we really need a small one don't we to get through there yeah so if i take out that path yep and if i take out that levy yeah when we get one of those can i just unlock the smaller one yeah we'll do that we've got twenty six thousand science probably at that point where we've got more science than we're ever going to need there we go we'll pick a pick of that path now they can get around the other side as well and we'll, we'll of course fill this in down here that is going to be absolutely fantastic also a lot of comments uh, when i removed all the uh, supports the platforms that we had going up next to each of these ladders lots of people saying oh biffers loft is mine he doesn't know what he's doing he was going to use all of those to put the platforms on top uh, two answers to that one you can put the platforms on top of the ladders so that's fine if i still wanted to put the platforms on the top i could um i'm not necessarily still going to be putting the platforms on the top we'll see how that goes because we've got these sluices on the side here we're going to build um little tunnels coming out of each side of these so we can take water all around our map that is the idea but anywho oh there we go they've done it yes they built across there fantastic so now i'm hoping that the next time they come up here look at that they can build from this way i'm hoping they're going to choose yes yeah, some are going to go this way as well fantastic that means we can get this thing done twice as quick i could even put some overhangs across the middle and get over to the other side that way could i how far apart are they it's not gonna be that one is it this one yes because then the next one will go on there and the next one will go on there oh why don't we do that if we go like that like that like that and then what do we need here one of those yeah we'll pick a pick of that path and go yoink all the way along here and then here we need what is the smallest is it small enough to do that it would be yeah so if we take away oh no i want to take away the path Boink, I want to take away that. Boink, I want to put one of these in. Boink, I want to pick a pick of the path. And there we go. Now we've got access to all over the place for building this thing. I think that'll be fine. I think that's going to keep all of our builders going, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. And then we can turn this thing on and see it fill up. That is going to be exciting. Let's just take a quick look at our two areas. So Tim, uh, Team Reborn, our first area over here, is doing okay. A little bit shy on the old water, but we've got some... Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of water, actually. They're filling it all up now. 120 beavers. This is just, like, a lot. <laughs> so we need to get some... We could get some more beavers over here um, to help with the building and stuff. Although, they're actually... Oh, man, they're flying through this now. They are flying. What I'm going to do is put some extra priority on this thing along the top so they can get that done. Uh, if we go there, 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 and there. And then they can start working across that way. Oh, I've accidentally put priority on all sorts of things. Who the heck did that let's put all this back to normal and that back to normal oh, that's weird how did they do all of this there we go a slip of the mouse excellent okay right yeah you get all that done for us that'll be great um over here i was thinking some adding some food variety at the moment we've got all this kohlrabi and we want to really get this up higher so team before we're on 19 kettleborn we're on 15 
And I think adding some extra food sources in here would be helpful. So maybe we could just take some of this and replace it with potato, which of course then we'd have to cook. I believe potatoes are a ingredient. Oh, of course, no potatoes. That would be the other faction. How about some coffee instead? We could put, then pop in a coffee brewery and get our coffee going. We need sparkly planks and stuff for that. I think we could do something along those lines. Uh, eggplant, corn, canola, soybean, cassava, kohlrabi. It's under the trees, isn't it? Coffee bush. Yeah, why don't we get some of those going? Let's pop over to Kettleborn. Here we go. Ooh, auto save. And yeah, they need a forester. So I think this would be the place to do it. Let's have a quick look at our forester, what area that can cover. Do we want to perhaps just pop a few in like the little area up here? We could do that. I also, oh, do you know what? Before I do that, I want to start getting some water running underneath some of these paths. Do I want to do that now? No, I don't. Let's just pop a few coffee bushes in like in some of this area we'll just sort of fill up whatever looks mildly green like that uh how far could you go that was about it wasn't it and we'll just go with that for now that will do i think they're okay living off the food they've got excellent and there's quite a few comments saying set one of these to plant one to harvest we've got that they've both got as many beavers in as they can and we've got enough food so i'm not overly concerned about that right oh another day has passed how is this going <laughs> it's going it's going they haven't quite finished that bit along there yet oh what do they need to build those log planks metal blocks do we have metal blocks over here in Kettleborn? Oh, we do. We've got 187 metal blocks, 223 planks. Oh, that's good. We're bringing it all along. Oh, well, I can't complain about that then. That's excellent. So what else are we short of? Let me take a look through all of our stocks um, and see. We've got plenty of wood. So that's keeping us going. The food and the water is okay. We've got even more wood over there. I've unpaused these, the district crossing, which is good. So we've got all sorts of items being brought across and we've got a drought approaching well we're not worried about that because over here we've got 1.1 thousand water the same as team before <laughs> so we've got as much water for only a small amount of people excellent beavers beavers beg your pardon i meant beavers so i tell you what we're going to do i think we're going to have a little bit of a time lapse and we're going to watch this being built in super duper fast speed until we're maybe almost done maybe get through the drought come out the other side because i just want to get this thing finished and then once that thing's finished we've got this other super duper mega project over here which we've probably all forgotten about uh, i know i haven't but we were using this to get our bad water to leave this area it might need a slight adjustment we've got three sluices over here so we can we can tweak it if we need to but the idea was is bad water was going to go straight off the map and then we could do that with the other ones as well but we'll we'll get there when we get there right here we go let's have a super duper time lapse <laughs> But the drought has started it's an eight day drought i think we're going to be okay we've got plenty of water in our reservoir over here i mean this wall here could actually be removed now although they, they are using it to get through so let's, let's not worry about that that's fine i could tnt down a load of this area to store even more water which is actually something i was thinking of getting sorted out so let's go into the correct menu landscaping double dynamite i mean there's a whole load of area here let's get all of this filled out there we go there we go and i'm hoping what's going to happen because this is oh can i get up and down yeah there's uh we'll do that oh hang on um yeah we'll do that we'll do the whole lot that's fine now we can place it over stairs zoink and zoink and we'll just get this all down as low as we can what have we got 195 and each of these are going to take two so we're just going to go ham and fill actually let's maybe not fill all of this in this is quite <laughs> it's quite a long way let's just uh demolish those do, 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 do. yep make sure we don't accidentally demolish anything but one two yeah let's just do this side first there we go you can be deleted there's nothing to do in range so 
You can go back to work. And then hopefully we're going to get some lovely beavers. Come along here. Here they are. Who's this? Bringing the TNT over. ABC127 and not your average bear. Well, you're not because you look like a beaver to me. And you're going to start filling this up. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. If you like Satisfactory and Oxygen Not Included, those two series are going on. Oh, look at them all. They're all coming over. Are going on over on my Patreon at the moment. And thank you for your continued support. It really does mean a lot. Uh, thank you very much. So here we go, yeah. Let's get this all filled in and drop this down and fill up as much water as we can. Probably I'm going to wait until the drought's over to explode this because otherwise it's going to drop all the water level and we do have a big long drought that we're going through. But, oh man, all the things that we've made are doing really, really well. Just looking at this over here, now that we're getting this done across the top, I mean, I could put the metal platforms there. We could just sort of put in some overhangs here, which is something else a lot of people mention. You could put overhangs off the side. There's so many different ways of doing it. It's just like, well, we can sort of do the things how we wish to do them. <laughs> we don't need to fall out about it. You know, it's a sandbox game. There's always 27 different ways to do everything, but they're doing fantastically. Right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Maybe once they've got these two walls done at the end and the drought's over. A few moments later. Oh, just a quick break. We're here in Kettleborn. We have two unemployed beavers. I do feel like we want to add in another builder's hut and just have it here ready to go. Let's see. Can I squeeze it on the side here? I just want to go where there's a path already. Yeah, there we go. Or I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll pick a pick of that. We'll bring it out like that. Then we'll pick a pick of that. And then we can always do a path around the side if we need to. I'll keep that on medium. And then hopefully any new beavers we get can go into there. What are these ones all set? That's set to, let's put that to medium as well. Fill that one up. Um, our builders, our builders, our builders. Where's our haulers? <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a haulers over here. Hauling post is on slightly higher. Yes, yeah. so we always keep the haulers filled up so they can haul stuff around. But I think that will keep everybody in a job. What's the matter with you there? A vacancy. Where is the vacancy? No good selected beaver injured. Mm, that is probably that one we saw over here, wasn't it? Yep, that's fine. Excellent. They're getting a little bit short on the old wood. There's so many people building now. Beavers, I mean beavers. Beavers, sorry. Oh, I keep calling you people. Offensive. That one there. So I'm hoping we can bring in more wood there isn't any in there and wait for this to grow what's this got 66 percent is there a way that we can increase things growing i thought there was like a oh was there like a beehive but that's for the other faction that's just for food i think maybe that might have been it yeah never mind okay maybe we need to get some more wood in growing somewhere but we will need to get some water oh tnt's going in could do this one up here it's not a very big area let's have a look could do this over here actually if we popped a let's have a look gather a fag what am i looking for this one here there we go if we pop um <laughs> this one forester that covers this whole area which could be good i'm thinking if i put it over there yeah there we go and we'll pick a pick of a path to run through there there we go and we get as much wood as possible over here and then i'm going to grab these point and we are going to fill up this whole place here all of these i know some of this isn't covered in water but at least we had to do all of that and then we can unpause Boink. Unpause this one as well. That's our little forester, isn't it? Like a lumberjack. They can get those. And then we've got this metal here. And as that metal goes down, um, yeah, we can make use of that as well. Excellent. Get stuck in. Continue. Right. We're going to try and add a couple more things that I think is going to help our beavers. Uh, decontamination pod is not needed. We've got the exercise plaza. I mean, it's 400. Oh, man, we need 50 logs. What have we got over here? We've got 270 odd logs. Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There we go. 50 planks we've got the planks and 10 metal blocks we've got that as well let's pop in one exercise plaza which i think we should be able to just sort of squeeze in over here um, let's put it up to the edge there yeah we'll do that oh that's going to cost a load of stuff but that is going to increase the happiness of our beavers which is something i really want to do to get their building speed up to get all their things up oh here we go look they're doing it excellent that's good oh fantastic using up 50 of our logs that we're really struggling for but okay where are these injured beavers uh german girl jad games and kyle three all over in team Beborn. well there's all the stuff you need over there to help you out so oh man how's the water going we're still in our drought i think we're doing okay oh this has all been tnt'd yeah there's plenty of water over here don't be dehydrated just enjoy yourself uh while we're telling you to enjoy yourself why don't we just detonate all of this ah oh, 
yes there we go that'll drop the levels down a little bit but that'll mean we can have even more water in this area um yeah the forest has been built no available workers in the district if i go like that <laughs> joshua burnett will run over and get this done for us thank you very much joshua you're probably in bed so we'll wait for you to come along and sort that out for us drought ended we survived so we've got to the point where we've got more jobs than we've got beavers so this one over here is never going to fill up and i think we've got other spaces as well oh there we go look six yeah six vacancies so we need six more beavers we don't have any free beds so i'm just wondering whether we could plop another one of these on top of here and then stick the roof on top of that so if i get rid of that let's pick a pick of this and maybe just sort of turn it around the other way because then i'm going to pick a pick of these and we're going to face them the correct direction so we do not block the door then i'll pick a pick of that so they can get inside and they'll build that for us which is only logs excellent so now we've got space for another 10 beavers so if we go over to this one here manage distribution find the right screen for moving the beavers over and up this to 64 I think my math was correct and that should fill everything up there we go filling up the beds filling up the beds all three beds but all the jobs are taken yeah that's fine that's what we want we want to make sure all the jobs are taken so if we spin it back around here again that should be full jt glaze mr brown peter reed adam cowfleesh excellent thank you for coming over i saw someone over here was complaining about something no they've stopped complaining excellent what is going on with the water oh yes i've lowered this down but it's not really this isn't filling up oh good grief what have i done what have i done is this it's gonna take a while isn't it for this to all come across for this to fill up and to come out of here and then fill everything up again so along the way <laughs> we might lose some trees 14 days no we should be able to get this filled up before 14 days hopefully that is all the way down this one's probably all the way down as well yikes okay come on water you can do it oh it's doing it it's now coming through yep excellent i think we'll be okay it's just gonna take a day or two so i probably won't tnt all of this just yet i think we'll just wait are you over here doing the stuff you are excellent that is what we want to see we'll be back <laughs> once this fills up and we don't lose all of our food no i think you're fine it's this bit i'm worried about i'm just thinking here actually i mean if i tnt'd out that down there and then built over the top and put the paths back in we could have the water run down here and then we could have more trees over here as well which would be quite good shall we do that i think we'll wait i think we'll wait to be honest also another thing that was mentioned in the last episode which i could have done to get around the hunger issues which which i'll be honest with you it didn't occur to me all oh, the coffee bushes are in we need to deal with those it didn't occur to me at the time but i can get where you're coming from was that all the hungry beavers was to send them back across to the other area and get another load of beavers over which yeah okay i could see why that might be a good idea but i was really trying not to sort of micromanage them in that way as well i want to get things going get them to work and i want this area over here to be completely independent of the other area so yeah let's just take a look down here at the coffee bushes and see if we can get something going with those so they're done which is good uh we need a forester i think uh gather or oh, gather a flag ah oh, okay what have we got over here we've got lumberjack flags all sat around waiting to do stuff we don't have any gatherer flags let's pop in a gatherer flag Whink, right there excellent we'll get that on a slightly higher priority get those done and then we'll unlock the coffee brewery which is also going to need power yeah we'll get that uh, we are making power up here Boink. so we'll pop that next to this let's just maybe move it over this way a little bit so it's a little bit closer gotta line it up gears treated planks and metal blocks that is going to be an interesting thing what should we do if we pop in a small i can never remember which one does the treated planks if i do that and say sparkly planks yeah there we go that holds 20 and then once this is built i'll turn it off and then what should happen over here if we manage this if i haven't completely turned off the sparkly planks i have completely turned it off i'll put on here import always do not import oh import if needed no i haven't turned it off so as it says there import the good only if there's a match in storage or workplace demand which there is so once that's been used uh, over here there we go and once that's filled up they'll stop importing them so we'll have like five spare or something and it needs yeah 25 oh gears as well i bet we have no gears over here in kettleborn we don't so how about oh, bonk, another one of these and we'll pop gears in there no wrong one, one not that one delete delete reverse recoil small warehouse there we go 
and we'll pop gears in there. So that's 30 gears, and that needs 10. Can I, I can't actually lower the amount to go in there, but there we go, that's fine. So we'll just have like a few spare gears for when we need them. Let's swing over here. Oh, we're almost at the end over here. Uh, they're now all back to only building in a couple of spots. I could put some things over. Uh, to be honest with you, they're almost at the corner. There's only this bit left here to go. And we're nearly done. We're nearly done. I'm so excited about being nearly done. Obviously, you can probably tell. Aha, the new wood area is in, which is good. It's literally just starting to overflow. I'm going to unpause this even though it's going to put shane turner in here with nothing to do i don't need to plant these to be cut do i or i mark them to be cut i should say i do oh let's try that again cut trees click the button to mark the cutting of the trees and all of these trees and these will mark to be cut and then when they grow up you can grab those for us these are so slow in growing like another few days yeah we just need more areas with trees in. i think that's the problem hum 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 i am now thinking about trying to get the water to come out to other areas underneath here so we could grow more stuff but i mean we're getting we are getting there we are getting there so i'll be back in a second when they're sort of halfway down here in a day or two. Oh, we might just come and see him use the exercise plaza yeah look at that jumping and getting all excited and happy and all the rest of it off you go yeah someone else is coming in we go to the left we go to the right yeah everybody copy and we get eight is it two four six eight ten twelve at a time 13 if you include that one i suppose and they'll all take their turns and then what's that doing for our happiness so that's 17 in team were born 15 yeah it might take a while for that to uh, <laughs> to go up oh we've got an injury which isn't helping yeah, okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. Quick updates. I've moved the coffee brewery to over here because it was a stupid place to put it over here. It got no power, so now it's getting the power, which is what we need, and we're making the coffee beans into coffee. And this can hold 60, which I think will be absolutely plenty considering we've only got a few coffee beans. I think there's a few coffee beans stored in here by Dale Cap'n... What's the rest? Cap'n Hurst, that's it. I knew you had a, a longer name. But yeah, everyone's getting a little bit peckish, but I think we're doing okay. Everyone's enjoying the fireplace, the exercises, and this is getting larger and larger, and they're on the final stretch. Nearly there. Right, I've just added a third uh, farming hut thingy-mabob over here, because we're always having trouble. I've got one of these set to plant, one to harvest, but we're always having problems getting all the food in it grows quicker than we can harvest it and everybody gets hungry so we've got a third one in here to definitely cover that area which means we could probably then plant out another load of stuff over here mm, what should we plant it's going to be kohlrabis we're going to have more kohlrabis than we can shake a stick at until i increase my uh housing because this is now filled up i balanced it all out by adding another person in here so okay, what why is there two two vacancies is that because this one i've only got set no that one's filled that one's filled that one you can see everybody's getting really hungry what is it that's giving me the vacancies uh, if i click on kettle water so we know where we are oh no it's filled up oh it's okay it's fine no it still says two. Oh, is it this i've got the two vacancies there that's fine so i could have another two in there to give us more power but we'll get to that ever so slowly i <laughs> just want them not to be hungry anymore because there's all of these to eat look look it's all there so yeah you two are set to harvest please harvest quickly oh i'm gonna i mean there's only kohlrabi so we'll just set you to do the kohlrabi and you as well well i'm just doing the sort of final planning over here so we've set the sluices at sort of a lower down level here because the idea is is we're going to build around it and have like a pipe coming out um and we're gonna have the same over here somewhere yeah we've got some there same on the other side we'll have some i don't think we've got any over here we're not gonna have a pipe coming over that way i might just adjust this when it's finished to put a couple at the top as an overflow so we can just have it overflow rather than putting a roof on straight away but what we do need to do is get this one filled up here too because we did have that as the steps going in to build the inside but now that that's done we don't need that filled because they can get to the top section from here if we sort of monkey around with that so what i'm going to do is get rid of that and then we're going to grab this uh pick a picker and we are going to fill this all the way ding, 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 up to the top as far as we can go and i'm hoping they can sort of build that from under there which we'll see what happens but if they can't we'll remove this and we'll do all the stuff so they can get to that oh man not much left to go oh yes they can reach that from the top even with the uh board uh, the, the platform thing the overhang in the way which is good and then we've added over here these couple of sluices as well we're going to times 30 speed to get things done yeah we've got a couple of sluices over here so we've got some overflow or before 
in a roof on the top. They're still a little bit peckish, but they're getting through okay. The food is getting there. We're almost done. Oh, they're a little bit peckish. Look at them. <laughs> Millions of hungry beavers. Don't die. Don't. None of them are dying of hunger. So, you know, it's just uh, old age. So we can, we can sort of deal with that, can't we? Is this going to be it? We're so close. We've got one left to do. We've got the last one. They're chucking in the logs. They're building it. Who is who is this? Who is this famous beaver who is going to be finishing this whole job? Let's find out. Absolutely unbelievable. It is my longest running patron ever. Bevan Fadarko. If you're still around watching my videos, which I'm assuming you are, Although I never see any comments from you. You have finished everything. Well, flipping, look at this. Look at this. It is done. It's humongous. It is massive. It's going to hold so much water. I'm super, super excited to see how that goes, which will be in the next episode because this one's been far too long and i've nearly died completing this whole thing thank you very much for your support be back here next saturday for the next one Whew. i'll see you then have a great day Bye bye